Hey guys, welcome back to another video and I hope you guys are doing well. So without any further ado, we're going to jump right into our topic of discussion today, which is can you pay your tuition using your co-op? How do you arrange your finances and how much money do you really need to study at University of Waterloo? I'm going to focus this video on international student expenses, but uh, with a few tweaks, you can find it out for your specific case. So let's get started. So the main questions we need to ask here is how much tuition you have to pay, how much do you spend on food and your living expenses, how much are your personal expenses, and then how much money will you earn from your co-op, which is your internship, and if you get any scholarships or if you do any part-time jobs. So let's look at the tuition fees. So here we can look at the fees for University of Waterloo. This is for Canadian citizens and permanent residents. You can check these annual fees right here. So for example, for Faculty of Engineering, it's about $16,000. Whereas for international students, uh, we can check all the fees right here. For Faculty of Engineering, it's about $63,000 for the year. So it's about $32,000 per term. And that's what we're going to assume. So right here, we can see that the tuition has been assumed to be about 32,000 average per term, which is for engineering international students at University of Waterloo. And then your food costs would be about 1,200 to $2,000 per term if you're living off campus. The living costs will be about 2,400 to 3,600 per term if you're living off campus. And then I've counted about $500 personal expense per term. So. The, the tuition is about 32000 and the other total is about $4,000, $6,000 per term. So if we were to add that all up, the tuition you'll be paying for eight study terms. So we multiply that and we get about $256,000. And then for your uh, living expenses, we multiply it by 14. And that is because you will be paying those on your study term, but also on your co-op terms. So you have six co-op terms and eight study terms, which is a total of 14 terms. And um, that's the total you get right there, about fifty-seven dollars to $85,000. So when we add that all up, you'll be spending about $330,000 average over your five years. So that is your expense part, right? Now let's look at your income part. So now we'll be looking at your co-op earnings. Let's jump back to the University of Waterloo website. Here we can see that the per hour um, salaries have been listed. Well, for example, for Faculty of Engineering, you might be earning about $18 an hour for your first work term and so on for the later work terms. The latter salaries might be a little flawed here uh, as you might be able to earn about $50 to $60 per hour as well, depending on the kind of co-op that you get right but this is a good estimate to have in terms of your earnings if we were to incorporate that into our uh, expense list right here we can see that from co-op you might be able to earn about sixty thousand dollars to a hundred thousand dollars for your six co-ops total now this is very variable right if you get really really good co-ops through all your six co-ops you might be able to earn more than a hundred thousand so it's really depending on the kind of co-ops you get but this is a good estimate to have Assuming that you're doing all six co-ops and uh, you have very decent opportunities at that. Now let's talk about the scholarships. Now University of Waterloo doesn't really have a lot of scholarships. I'll make a very separate detailed video about that. But here we can see that it offers some standard entrance scholarships. So depending on your high school grade, it will offer you about $2,000 to $5,000 in scholarship. But out of those $5,000, $3,000 can be claimed in the upper years. So I'm just going to assume a one-time $2,000 scholarship right here. As for the upper years, you might be able to get about $3,000 to $8,000 total over your five years, depending on how well your application is and uh, the number of terms you apply in and so on. So if you were to total all those incomes right there, right, you might be able to get about $65,000 to $110,000 over five years. So that is your income part. Now, one thing to make sure here is that you will have to pay taxes from your co-op salary. The higher your salary, the higher your tax bracket. But the other thing is that because we pay such a high tuition, especially as international students, we do get a lot of feedback in your tax returns. So now where does that leave us? If you subtract your expenses from your income, you or income from your expenses, you'll get about $200,000 to $265,000 in your net expenses. Now, the biggest question is, how do you reduce this number? The only way you can reduce this number is by increasing your co-op salary. Your co-op salary, depending on your major and the kind of roles you get, could well be above $100,000. So that is something you really, really need to aim for. So that will bring your number to under 200000 mark for sure, right? What was this number for me? So 
in my case, I started my undergrad in 2017 where the tuition was lower than the current amount. So I have paid about a $25,000 average tuition per term, which is $7,000 less than our estimate for these numbers. So over eight terms, that auto that's automatically about 50 to 60 k less than the amount here, right here. Apart from that, uh, I was fortunate enough to get really good co-ops, especially towards the end of my undergrad. So I had about three co-ops with Microsoft, which helped me pay a lot of my tuition myself. So for me, this number was way under the numbers that are listed right here, which reduced the dependency on my parents as well as on third party loans. Now, if you are able to reduce this number to under 200,000, then you might you will have to request your parents to be able to fund at least the first two years of your undergrad completely and that is because your co-op earnings will only start to rise towards the latter half of your degree plus your co-ops or co-ops earning will mostly be used to pay your living costs so your parents will have to pay your tuition on time and uh, the tuition is generally paid about a month and a half before the term starts so you need to budget yourself accordingly that being said, if you get good co-ops, of course, you can reduce the dependency on them towards the second half of your degree. One thing that is very important right here is that all these expenses are the ones that you definitely, definitely have to do. These do not include the flight, ticket, uh, flight tickets that you will have to need to visit back home if you're an international student or any other emergency expenses or the winter clothing that you buy or the bedding that you buy and a lot of other side expenses which might be one-time expenses but should be counted in your budget as well so now let's assume that you've paid a huge amount in your tuition some of it financed from your parents some of it from loans now how do you pay it off right can you pay off the loans from the full-time jobs that you get here the full-time salary especially for a software developer or software roles or technical roles uh, in canada if you're working should be well between eighty thousand to one hundred twenty thousand dollars per annum apart from that you will get your signing bonus you will get your uh, stock options so you might be able to pay off your loan in about two to four years depending on how much you save and what your salary is for non-technical roles your salaries might range between uh, sixty thousand dollars to ninety nine five thousand dollars and that is how you can assume the ratio of that and then see if how much of it can you pay and how fast can you pay that Let's take a quick moment here to compare the Canadian and uh, the US salaries, right? So mostly the roles that people get in the US are around uh, tech, so product management or software, software development, site reliability engineer and so on. So in Canada, the numbers that I've mentioned, you might be able to earn between 60,000 to 100,000 from your co-op. If you work in the States, these numbers will be higher, right? So in general, the US salaries are about 50% higher than Canadian salaries, let's say. So um, sometimes even 100% higher, it could be double. So depending on your co-op, you might be able to get about $100,000 to $120,000 if you've been getting uh, a lot of your co-ops in the USD pay. One thing to consider here though is like, uh, there are a lot of uncertainties involved. For example, during COVID, everything became work from home. So people who even worked for the American companies like myself were paid in the Canadian salaries. So the salaries got reduced by a lot. Plus it was in Canadian dollars, so the value is uh, less directly right there. So a lot of those factors count in and that's why I'm asking you to take a uh, worst to best case scenario of $60,000 to $100,000. But it can be about $20,000 plus or minus here and there depending on your costs. To sum up right here, is it worth coming here as an international student? Well, that's a very detailed question and the pillars of that answer rest on a few important questions are you what are the opportunities that you have apart from university of waterloo what are the other universities that you're comparing it to and what is the difference in costs that is being levied to you if there's a difference of 10 lakhs versus a crore that you'll be spending at university of waterloo then a lot of other factors come into play right there but if you're comparing u of t versus u waterloo then it's a totally different discussion where it's a few thousand dollars plus and minus and then you have to check for your experience and your rate return on investment and the future opportunities you get after that so all in all these are the expenses that you should be ready to bear for best to worst case scenarios and uh, given all these expenses if you're able to get some part-time jobs or you're able to like tutor people you're able to get um, some other side income then you might be able to well supplement that as well 
so this basically covers all our expenses if you have any questions let them let me know in the comments below and uh, see you soon